Hello everyone, Guillaume Letzman here, host of the E-Commerce Wizards podcast, where I feature leaders in e-commerce and business. Today's guest is Manish Chowdhury. He's the founder and CEO of Kahoot, which can be found at kahoot.ai. Today, we're going to talk about DTC, so uh, direct-to-consumer. So DTC versus Amazon, how to thrive with multi-channel operations. Quite a challenge right now with Amazon. How do you compete with them? So before we get started, our sponsorship message. This episode is brought to you by Mage Montreal. If a business wants a powerful e-commerce online store that will increase their sales or to move piled up inventory to free up cash reserves or to automate business processes to reduce human processing errors, our company, Mage Montreal, can do that. We've been helping e-commerce stores for over a decade. Here's the catch. We're specialized and only work on the Adobe Magento e-commerce platform, also known as Adobe Commerce. We're among only a handful of certified companies in Canada. We do everything Magento related. If you know someone who needs design, support, training, maintenance, or a new e-commerce website, email our team at support at magemontreal.com or go to magemontreal.com. That's M-A-G-E montreal.com. All right, Manish, thanks for being here today. Well, Guillaume, thank you very much for having me. All right. So before diving into the main topic, I like to always spend a little bit of time so you can tell us briefly, like a minute or two, uh, your background as an entrepreneur. Yes, thank you. And thanks again for everyone tuning in. Um, my name is Manish Chantry. I'm the founder and CEO of Kahoot. I have over 20 years of e-commerce experience uh, involved with building one of the first e-commerce platforms. Uh, this is uh, going back to the days before Magento, Guillaume. So uh, I've been involved in e-commerce for that long. And uh, following that, I built a uh, order management, inventory management platform. It's a full service solution. So I have seen and worked with uh, uh, SMB merchants, even large enterprise for nearly two decades. And now uh, I'm running Kahoot, which was uh, founded in uh, a few years ago in 2018. I can uh, tell a little bit uh, about Kahoot if you like, uh, but- uh, yeah, Go for it because it's very unique, the product you have. I think it's something brilliant as the idea that it really stands out that like, if I'm thinking what kind of business do I want to create is the kind of idea I hope to have. So go for it. Thank you, Guillaume. That is very kind of you. It is, it is indeed innovation. It is very innovative what we're doing. Kahoot is the world's first peer-to-peer -peer order fulfillment network. What that means is Kahoot has uh, multi-dozen warehouses throughout the, uh, throughout the U.S. right now and soon to be global, including Canada, Mexico, and others. And essentially, we provide brands and sellers, brands and retailers with best-in-class fulfillment services, similar to Amazon, FBA. Whether you are targeting two-day delivery nationwide, in that case, Kahoot can distribute your inventory across multiple fulfillment centers and pick the lowest cost carrier to get the order delivered in one day, two day. And we support that. We do this uh, regularly for our clients who want uh, Amazon seller for full prime, which is essentially an Amazon prime-like service, but for merchants who wish to do self-fulfillment. So that, that is what the service is for the brands and retailers, but there's a very unique business model behind that, which I'm happy to share, which is most of these warehouses belong to other brands and sellers that have their own warehouse that they're operating for themselves. And if they have excess capacity in that warehouse, they join Kahoot as a fulfillment partner and they get to monetize that excess capacity for the very first time. So if you know of a merchant if you know of a seller who has a warehouse, let's say 40, 50, or any size warehouse, and they have sufficient space vacant that is going unutilized, you can come and apply to become a Kahoot Fulfillment Partner. And that's where our capacity comes from that allows Kahoot to beat the rates that, are, that allows Kahoot to and pass them on to our clients because it's a win-win. It's a win for the, for the Fulfillment Partner because they're making extra cash. And that's, of course, a win for the brand or the retailer uh, because they get lower cost by design. And that's what makes Kahoot very unique and innovative. All right. Well, it is a, a brilliant uh, system because you're more or less building an Airbnb or a, a Uber, but on, on, on the B2B side of things to, you know, everybody can use their excess capacity for warehouse because it's always a problem. Within time, you buy hardware, regardless if it's like additional server resources or if you're buying uh, you know, warehouse space, you buy a full warehouse and maybe you'll use half of it, two thirds of it or whatever. To, and then you, 
it's never optimized and you plan on running out of warehouse space and you need to buy a second warehouse and it's never going to be 100% capacity utilization. So um, it, it is quite brilliant. There's a lot of operational uh, challenges uh, from a theoretical point of view. I don't know your business that would need to be solved to operate this. And it's probably why you're the first one that I have heard of to move forward with this kind of model. And while you're, you're, you're pulling it off, you're making it work right now. So um, for sure, I'm, I'm very interested to, to know more uh, about this. Uh, and we'll see how you can perhaps uh, explain it a bit more throughout the episode here. And um, it, it's directly with our topic. So DTC versus Amazon. So direct to consumer versus Amazon, how to drive multi-channel operations here in the sense that, well, shipping with Amazon, if you're selling on Amazon, is extremely competitive. Amazon has warehouse all across the country, will ship way faster than you. For most places, uh, you know, with the city, you can have your, your package like same day, next day, more or less. Uh, but if you're, you're a small merchant or medium-sized merchant even, and, you know, you have to ship across the country, there's no way to get the goods that uh, quickly there. Yeah, you're right, uh, Guillaume, because uh, sellers, it's very hard to pull this off. And Amazon-like fulfillment is not easy. There's a lot of operational co complexity and so on. But Kahoot handles all that, just like Uber, you know, where the rider for example, is not trying to connect with the driver, trying to negotiate the price of the ride, trying to alert the driver when to come in and all of those. So Kahoot has created a fully managed service. For the seller, it is super duper simple because they send the inventory to Kahoot fulfillment centers and Kahoot takes care of everything from that point, that point on. And for our fulfillment partners on the other side, just like I'll continue to use that Uber analogy as a driver, We've made it super duper simple for fulfillment partners to fulfill orders on behalf of Kahoot because we take away all the decision making, all the complexity that would be associated so that it's not a distraction from the core business. And that's all leveraging our technology, which is patented. We've got, uh, um, you know, tons of experience doing this. And that is what makes Kahoot so special. So, you know, we'd love to chat with brands and fulfillment partners who may be interested. So let's say, like, let's try to be as, as uh, you know, clear as possible. What's, where are we at so far with you, like, building this network and how competitive can you be with Amazon, let's say, with, like, the prime same day, next day kind of fulfilling that Amazon has? Or is it, like, per region of the United States? Or, like, how are things shaping up right now? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, this is a reality. I mean, Kahoot is one of the only fulfillment networks of its size that uh, offers uh, or offers Amazon sellable full prime. So I'll use a client example. So we have a, um, you know, very, uh, we have a client called Cali's Books. You know, they are a leading brand. They sell personalized uh, children's books. These are, um, you know, imagine Cinderella in Spanish, you know, that also teaches the kid to read and you can record uh, uh, voices on top of that so that maybe it's a gran uh, grandfather reading the book to the kid and so on. So it's a very, very special brand. And they've been growing, you know, doubling year over year. Uh, and uh, prior to Kahoot, you know, they were using a bunch of different services. But um, as we know, Amazon routinely changes the storage capacity for brands, even the ones that have been selling on Amazon for a long time. And they needed access to Amazon seller for full prime because that 150 million prime shoppers, that membership is very crucial because, you know, Amazon shoppers love the Prime membership. So there's a program called Seller Full Full Prime where you have to achieve two-day and one-day delivery. That's the metrics are super duper, super duper high. It's very hard to meet those standards from Amazon. So Kahoot has placed this uh, Cali's Books inventory in six, seven, eight different warehouses throughout the country in the U.S. from Southern California to uh, greater New York City area to uh, the South, where the Texas, and then in the upper Midwest, and so on, and you can imagine. And then Kahoot uh, processes orders, re retrieves the orders dynamically in real time from all the leading channels, Amazon, Walmart, uh, Shopify, uh, uh, eBay, and all of the others, and then routes the order to the fulfillment center that will be the closest and cheapest that can get the order to the customer within the promised SLA which includes, in many cases, we need, as part of Seller Full Full Prime, you need to achieve at least 20% of your orders must achieve one-day delivery, not just two-day. 
So the bar is really high and we've been doing exceedingly well. This brand is doing really a fantastic job in ex on execution and Kahoot is their, their primary fulfillment partner. So that's just to give you, an, by way of an example, how this all can work. Right, okay. And, and you've made your own study in this regard. Like if you have, regardless which e-commerce platform, a Magento, a Shopify or something versus selling on the marketplace, like what the brand sort of gives up, what the brand sort of lose if they're selling on the marketplace or what they win and how do you push back or fight back to, um, you know, as a smaller brand versus the Amazon marketplace? Yes, uh, it is uh, well understood, well known that marketplaces are growing faster than DTC sites, you know, and I put marketplaces, Amazon, Walmart, eBay, Best Buy, Target Plus, all of these are marketplaces because Consumers love marketplaces. You know, they trust the marketplaces because the marketplaces offer a diversity of products. You know, there's a very large selection. And because it's also competitive, because multiple people are selling the same product, it creates a sort of competition for the sellers to put their best foot forward, which means lower prices. Not only do the customers get a large selection, a very competitive price, and then finally, where marketplaces really win is in shipping you know, and fulfillment because marketplaces in order to get high, ranked high on, let's say Amazon, you not only have to offer a great price in order to win the buy box, but you also need to provide competitive shipping. You know, of course, if you're using FBA, then FBA will target the prime one day, two day delivery. But if you're shipping on your own, your shipping offer has to also be very competitive in order to rank high, which is where marketplaces shine. And most DTC brands, do not do that good of a job, you know, and regardless of the platform that they operate, whether Magento or Shopify, and I have, uh, we have done, we did a full uh, study of uh, top 50 DDC brands on Shopify and BigCommerce and compared their offers to the ones on Marketplace, and I'm happy to share more if your audience is interested. Yeah, sure. So, like, what key findings did you have with that study? Yeah, so uh, we actually studied the top 50 brands to our top 50 sites on Shopify and BigCommerce, and then looked for the same identical product on Amazon and Walmart marketplaces. And what we found, Guillaume, is that 60% of the time, 60% of the time, the products are found cheaper on marketplaces than the brand's uh, DTC site. And, and that is just one finding. Of course, on a marketplace, um, there could be other sellers, resellers potentially selling. But from a consumer perspective, if I want to buy a certain product, as long as it's authentic, I really don't care who's selling it because I want the best price and I'm protected because Amazon ensures that, you know, my payment information, my all the other personal information is safe. So, so there's a clear trend that marketplaces are performing better on prices. Now, we also studied the shipping behavior on these marketplaces and we found that Three out of four times, you can not only get the product cheaper, but you can also get it faster uh, on marketplaces than on the DTC side. So, 73% of the time, the product can you'll you'll get the product delivery faster, let's say on Amazon and Walmart, than on the DTC side. So clearly, the DTC sites have a lot to do in terms of catching up if they want to compete with the Amazon and Walmart, uh, Walmarts of the world. Agreed with you. So more selection, cheaper, faster. And also something that we take for more or less granted that on, on many marketplaces and many sites that just like an estimated date of arrival, there's a lot of private websites that don't give you that option. So you're like, okay, I'll, I'll check out, but when do I get it? Do I get it in a week, two weeks, in one day, in two days? Like if, don't, if you don't offer that estimated date of arrival, I mean, that can lose your sales right there. I remember myself as a consumer sometime like not placing the order because I need to know when I get it because I need it for a specific date for whatever an event or something. So uh, that does matter for sure. You're, you're hundred percent right. We call it date certain shipping. Uh, and if you don't, if you're just putting up things like, uh, you know, four to seven day delivery or two to three day delivery, the consumer cannot do that math or doesn't want to do that math. You know, uh, I, I don't know what that means. Four to seven day delivery. Does it include uh, weekend? Uh, when will the product ship? Is it counted from today? Is it counted from tomorrow? How, what's your processing time? All of those. So that's another 
clear advantage, as you rightly said, that um, individual DTC sites, most of them do not offer that level of what we call a visibility into when will my product arrive if I pick this option. In addition to, of course, you know, marketplaces that reward free shipping. So any seller that's offering free shipping will have an edge on marketplaces. Of course, there's no such body to govern on your DTC side because you're making the rules. But keep in mind that the winds of change are happening and, and uh, brands and re uh, retailers, they need to get serious about offering and leveling that playing field if they want to compete on their DTC side. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and the model that you propose as a solution here, say, hey, let's all group together, let's band together, let's create a power of distribution and network by creating alliance with people that were previously not aligned together, not coordinated together. So you're coordinating the uncoordinated, so to speak, building a network that then you can even compete with the, like Amazon's shipping and so on. Like nothing's perfect in one, you know? So there's positive and negative. So we heard a lot about positive, like what's the downside of this kind of approach or challenges or, or issues that someone might face? Well, I mean, uh, ensuring quality is always a challenge in a warehouse, you know, um, uh, even with Amazon Prime, you know, I'm an Amazon Prime subscriber in the US and we, my family and I, we, we order quite a bit of stuff and we know that Amazon Prime routinely uh, fails on its delivery promise, even though they say, okay, the product is going to arrive, let's say on a Friday or Saturday. Many times it doesn't show up till Monday, uh, you know, but I know behind the scenes, Amazon is working feverishly to, to ensure that those promises are met. And so likewise, for Kahoot, the problems are very similar, that uh, holding our fulfillment partners and warehouses strictly accountable, which Kahoot does a fantastic job. My team is always on top of it, ensuring that products uh, are delivered defect-free, meaning right product goes to the right customer at the right time. And of course, we need to work with carriers, you know, UPS, FedEx, uh, USPS, and there are many other regional carriers. So, you know, um, uh, sometimes they, they um, screw up and, and it happens, you know, products do get damaged in transit uh, for no fault of uh, the carrier and so on. So those are all the things that impact customer experience because the customer may or may not be privy to all that information that, hey, did the UPS damage the product or was the product damaged at the warehouse or was it, was the product, did the product come damaged from the factory in China to begin with? Because we can't see all that. So the problems are real, but Kahoot maintains a very, very high standard of accountability and only lets the best in the, 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 best in the business join as fulfillment partners. And that's why we have a very strict vetting process to make sure that we are only bringing in the best and holding them accountable every single day. Right. Uh, even Amazon with all their, I don't know how many millions or billions they've invested in, in robotics, uh, probably billions. So, um, you know, for sure, actually billions, they lose packages. Like they lose inventory. I speak with so many merchants that are selling on Amazon and yeah, you have to claim lost merchandise from the Amazon warehouse that Amazon has no clue. They've misplaced your package. So that happens everywhere, no matter how much AI and robotic you put in place. Uh, and especially the Amazon warehouse, kind of uh, messy. It's not like sorted out, but alphabetically or numerically, it's the robot knows where it is. So if the robot goes pick the package there and it's not there, you're screwed. Package is lost in, the, in chaos, basically. So um, th there's, that happens everywhere. That, that's for sure. And the other important thing to remember when you're talking like, your own shop or direct to consumer versus selling on marketplaces. On marketplaces, you do not own the relationship with the customer. You do not own your customer's list. Somebody buys from you from Amazon, but you don't know who is buying from you. You cannot send them an email and a text message and you cannot market to them after do some remarketing and so on. So this is huge because you're losing the ability to build an asset, which is a customer base. So it's really like a, a money transactional relationship with Amazon. You say, thank you for the transaction. Thank you for helping me grow my business, but this could dry out and I don't own the relationship with you know, the customers. Very critical point to keep in mind to always diversify away from marketplaces uh, so that you can own your own customer list and your own relationship with customers that you can send texts and emails to. So to wrap up with this topic here, um, anything else top of mind that you think that merchants should know 
about how to thrive, you know, in this kind of multi-channel operation and B2C versus Amazon. Yeah, in, in summary on this topic, uh, Guillaume, uh, I would urge every seller to, to target an Amazon-like fulfillment. And I know that uh, many sellers uh, that I speak with, sometimes they're not fully sold on the idea because many of them will say, oh, my customers don't demand it. No, of course they don't. They're not going to come and tell you that. They're just going to go elsewhere. You know, they'll, they'll buy it on Amazon. They'll buy it on other places. I think, you know, especially with uh, uh, Amazon just recently launched this program called Buy with Prime, which I know we will cover later on, either in this podcast or another session. Um, the consumer expectations are not, uh, are not getting any, any reduced or any, uh, is not getting tempered. If anything, customers want their products faster and they want their products free and fast shipping. So, uh, and, and solutions exist. You know, I think sellers and brands and retailers should not think that they cannot do it affordably. I would invite them to come talk to Kahoot. We can do some analysis. We can tell you. But uh, that's, and if there are uh, merchants who have warehouses, whether it's Canada or in the U.S., that have spare capacity that run a tight ship, I would encourage them to also contact us if they're looking to make some extra cash. So the world is moving to distributed fulfillment. My parting thoughts is that everybody should embrace it because if you're not, you're going to find yourself in a tight spot sooner than later. All right. Well, thank you for sharing uh, all that information. Uh, Manish, if uh, somebody wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way? Well, uh, hop over to kahoot.ai. That's www.kahootsingular.ai and fill out the contact us form. And if you want to connect with me directly, please find me on LinkedIn. I'm very active. Just search for my name and Kahoot, that's C-A-H-O-O-T. And please uh, connect with me, message me. I'd love to chat with you. Awesome. Thanks for being here today, Manish. Thank you for having me.